Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, helping you solve the puzzle of level 425. In 50 moves, we have to reach 45,000 points, not a problem, collect 200 blue and five sets of a striped and wrapped candy together. So let's start doing that. If we have the opportunity, we're going to take it, but we're also taking out as much frosting as we can. Now we have some lucky candies on the board. Those always relate directly to our orders, so it's going to be either blue, striped, or wrapped. Never can tell until we open it up. The problem is these don't really match each other. We, you know, they're not next to each other. And the other problem is once we do open them up, we will end up having ticking time bombs coming through here. All right, so we have one opportunity. We're going to take it. The nice thing about this board is it's pretty easy to make matches. The bad thing is it's also easy to accidentally detonate those matches, as we see. Like, I can see, like, if I move this over, I want to hook up this one with this one, but there's another green here. That's one of the dangers of using identically colored uh, striped and wrapped candies. If you've got another one, one of that color hanging around, you're likely to be in trouble. Oh, I just detonated that without trying to match it up couple of reasons. I didn't see an opportunity to match it up. And then the second reason is I really want to plow through this frosting. The quicker I can do that, the more opportunity I have to make more matches and more specials. All right, now I think we can match that up. I'm not even focusing on the blue. What I'm focusing on is these orders here for two reasons. One, they're a little more difficult to get usually. Number two, they help me move a lot of candy on the board. And in order to get 200 blues to even cross this board, I need to move a lot of candy. Okay, so now we have our ticking time bombs over here. We can't forget them, but I don't want to waste all of my time chasing after them. I'm going to hope that some of the moves I make here We'll just naturally take them out. So see, not focusing on the blues, but look. As I move the candies around, blues are dropping onto the board and being taken out. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take that out. And let's go ahead and take out all the orange. It's going to concentrate the rest of the colors on the board and help us to make our matches more easily. All right, got another set. So now we're done with our sets. So now I'm going to focus a little bit more on the blue. But look at this. I've got relatively fewer blue on the board than I do green. If I could pair this with a green, I would. But what I'd love to do is set it up with a special. And actually not that special. What I'm going to do is take out all the red and hopefully get these two to combine. This is a really nice special combination to have on here. Besides the fact that it just gives me amazing amounts of points, which I don't really need. It takes out all of one color and then all of another color. And it just concentrates everything so extremely well that now I've got all of these colors just dropping onto the board and making their own specials and detonating them and bringing more colors down. Efficiency of moves. I could make a couple of different specials, but I saw an opportunity to make and detonate specials at the same time. So this is how we go about beating level 425. If you're still stuck after watching this, trying a few more times, especially bringing in some specials to help you, put something in the comment section and I'll try to figure out uh, by your description what your problem is and what strategy would work best to help you. If you found any of this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit like. And of course, if you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.